Right, good afternoon everyone. So day five of the MRCGP AKT 30 day challenge. As ever, let's begin with a high yield question. Here we go. Right, so the correct answer is D. If someone's pregnant, when they get the call for cervical screening, they should delay until three months postpartum if it's routine screening, okay? So let's just recap screening generally for cervical cancer. The screening program starts nationally at 24 and a half years of age. Why? Because they want to get the first screen in before 25. It then runs from age 25 to 64. Now the frequency is different in different parts of the UK, so you won't be tested on that. Once a woman's 65 or over, they're only invited if there was a recent cervical cytology, that sample that was abnormal, or if they'd missed after 50 years of age any of their screening and then they requested it. And then a few special circumstances. If you've got a woman with cervical stenosis, or if you have a woman who the cervix cannot be visualized adequately, refer them for colposcopy. And finally, if you've got a transgender man who has retained their cervix, then they should still be part of the NHS cervical screening program unless they have made an informed decision to opt out, okay? So do recap the other screening programs. Uh, just remember, because it's a national exam, if there's a difference in one of the whole, four home nations, that usually would be out of bounds. So for example, at the moment for colorectal cancer, the age range starts 10 years earlier in Scotland than in the other three nations, okay? Um, that is going to change soon. There are talks about um, widening it uh, to England and Wales and so on. But at the moment, in Scotland, they start earlier, so they probably wouldn't ask you about that. You know, do, do recap um, things like the breast cancer program and so on. Okay, so oh, I hope that's been helpful. Look, 25 days to go now. We've got a few weekends to go. Keep pushing. Uh, remember, if you want some extra support, we've got our webinars coming up, uh, three hours of interactive, intensive learning. We've got one covering all of the key statistics topics and then one covering all of the organizational domain, and then one covering all the high yield clinical topics from the last sort of 10, 11 years worth of examiner's reports. And then we've also got our AKT 200 question crammer, okay? Um, so that's four 50 question teaching mocks, making up 200 questions, 160 clinical, 20 statistics and evidence interpretation, 20 organizational, just like the real exam. You know, these are coming up, up to the last few uh, weeks of the exam to really maximize your revision. So if you're interested in any of those, I'll pop a link into the description, okay? Do feel free to join us. And uh, if you book them all as a bundle, you can get a big discount, okay? So I hope this has been useful. Do join me again tomorrow for the 30-day challenge. Thank you so much.